Yeah, thank you. We've got the pleasure of being joined by someone who's a very familiar face. If you watch The Apprentice, you're fired. Michelle Moan, founder of Ultimo Laundries, here with us. Fascinating speech here earlier on today talking about your success. I was fascinated to learn about all the celebrities that you've literally boosted the chests of. What, what's it like having a, a career where you've made such a success of it? Yeah, well, I just love my career. You know, and Ultimo is now the biggest designer lingerie brand in the country. And we own seven other massive brands with George, Michelle for George, Diamond Boutique at Tesco, Adormois with Debenhams. Um, so I just love my job, you know, and I, it was amazing talking to over 400 people here in Manchester today, and I can't wait to talk to them. I talk to as many people as I possibly can. So it's been a really good day, and it's it's definitely an event that people should come to yearly. What's it like being asked to share your experiences of your successes, but also your lows as well, in the hope that they can learn from them? Um, I'm flattered to be asked, to be honest with you. You know, when I start talking about my career, I realise, oh my goodness, how tough was that and how big are we now and everything else. So, you know, for me, I just go back to my day job tomorrow. Um, But it's good to spend the time, especially in this climate, to try and help other businesses and other entrepreneurs because, you know, having your own business and being an entrepreneur is probably the loneliest job on the planet. And teaching them skills, if you work with your partner, here is the rules that you have to put down and um, here is the rules what you have to do when it comes to innovation, etc. So, you know, if we can get more people like myself doing that, then maybe we'll turn this, this country back into where it needs to be. We obviously see you from time to time on TV, we see you in the press as well. Yep. How hands-on can you still be with the business? You mentioned in the speech that you are still very business-focused. Are you able to be there at the cutting edge of it all the time? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've spent the time building up a team. We've got a very, very good team at MGM International and, you know, they all serve one another. We've got KPIs, key performance indicators. Each department serves one another. And to be honest with you, uh, they know what they're doing. They probably know it better than, than myself. So it means that I can go out and do some speaking. I can go and do The Apprentice. I can go and do some designs. And it's variety, and I love my job because it's variety. And you're obviously still launching new products and new ranges, especially during the recession. That's quite some achievement. What would your advice be to businesses who are maybe here and thinking, we are struggling at the minute? Well, you need to come up with new products. Innovation is key, I believe. I feel that the government should be helping businesses when it comes to design registration fees, patent fees. They're too much. We need the help of the government to bring those costs down and um, protect these businesses that come up with the ideas. So, you know, don't stop your innovation at the moment. Innovation, you have to do even more to try and get the public to buy into your products or your service because competition is fierce at the moment. So if you can deliver something that's better, something... It's not all about price as well. It's about quality and service. And if you can deliver um, something that's different in the high street, then the customers will come to you. Okay, Michelle, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely fascinating insight there, and we'll have much more from this business conference later in the programme. Back to you.